we can use acids and hydrides in a very similar way to carboxylic acids to prepare esters. The good thing about using acid anhydrides is that uh, when you make an ester, it's no longer um, in equilibrium um, and uh, it's uh, far more likely to go to completion. The problem is, of course, you have to make the acid anhydrides in the first place, um, uh, which uh, can be tricky, um, and they are extremely reactive, so you do have to handle them with care. So let's have a look at how we use them uh, to make esters. So let's say it's a non-reversible reaction um, and also we can use phenol to form esters. Um, and remember, uh, really, uh, well, we wouldn't be able to use a phenol uh, with a carboxylic acid to form a um, ester. Um, phenols are not like alcohols, despite having the OH group, uh, but uh, we are able to um, make them work with acid anhydrides. So here we have ethanoic anhydride. Um, we have to do the reaction under uh, dry conditions. And the reason why is as soon as it meets water, it will react uh, really readily and we just get back the carboxylic acid. So that wouldn't help us at all. Um, so it has to be made, uh, the experiment has to be performed under anhydrous conditions. So acid anhydride in ester formation. We take our ethanoic anhydride um, and we react it with methanol. So we are aiming to make our methyl ethanoate. Um, but instead of making water, we will make ethanoic acid instead. So how does that work? Well, um, to make the ethanoic acid, we take the ethanoate part from the ethanoic anhydride, which is the red box, and we combine it with the H in methanol, and that gives us the ethanoic acid there. Um, and for the uh, methyl ethanoate, we're left with those parts, so uh, hopefully you can see that the uh, uh, atoms uh, circled in green will make up the um, first part of the ethanoate group. And then uh, the last part is due to methanol. And that's how we make our ester. And there's our overall equation. So now let's see how it reacts um, with phenol to form esters. So here we go, um, we're going to start with methanoic anhydride and phenol and they are going to combine together to produce phenol methanoate and of course methanoic acid. So how does that work? Well, uh, circled in green is our um, part that comes from methanoic anhydride, that C double bond O H, and then in uh, orange is the part of the molecule that comes from phenol um, to give us overall phenol methanoate and the rest um, that's left over is going to form our methanoic acid. So we are left off with the um, methanoate part from um, methanoic anhydride and the H from phenol to give us methanoic acid. And that's the overall equation.